Why do people do the things they do? That question more than any other has consumed my life. Human behavior is my business. Well, at least it will be if I ever get my degree. My name is Stan Warden. I'm a psychology major. Unfortunately, so far all we do is study rats. That's only the first week. I guess you've got to work up to real people. My parents spent everything they had putting me through Central Michigan. I even lived at home to save money. Now that I'm in grad school, I live in my car to save money. So when I saw this ad to live rent-free as an apartment manager in Hollywood, I decided to check it out. What have I got to lose? Sigmund, old buddy, wish me luck. Yeah, I'm uh, supposed to meet the uh, supposed to meet the owner here about the uh, new manager job. Ooh, did you say manager? Yeah, yeah. Like I said, I'm just waiting here for the owner. It's a uh, Dr. Cal Caligari. Do you do you guys do you know him? Yeah, I know him. Uh, that's him right over there. Oh, thank you. Is, is he okay? Dr. Caligari. I could be. I'm Stan Warden. We uh, spoke on the, on the phone about the job. Job? Yes, yes, uh, managing, managing the apartments. You ever worked for a foreign government? Uh, no. Why? Can't be too careful. Congratulations, you're hired. Wow, R really? That was easy. It's great. <laughs> um, would you like to show me around, maybe? Great idea. Wonder View Apartments. This building was designed by Frank Lloyd Wright's cousin, Iggy. It's been designated as an official architectural anomaly. But of course, it is the people that live here that make this place special. Hey, you don't smoke, do you? Oh, no. You ought to give it a try. Now, over here we have the pool. It's the only one of this shape in the Western Hemisphere. Do you swim? <laughs> yes. It's a dangerous habit. Is, is there something down on the bottom of the pool? Can, Can I, I help you? you? No, we're just having a look around. I'm, I'm Stan, warden. I'm the new manager here. Let me guess, the last guy got fired. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, uh, maybe uh, Dr. Caligari knows. 
Wait, where'd he go? Oh, oh there he is. I, I, I better catch up to him. It's nice meeting you. Uh, you too. Yeah. I was wondering what happened to you. Um, so, what, what exactly are my uh, duties here? Harassing tenants, what do you think? New manager? You're looking at him. Yeah, hi, I'm... Uh, you know, I've seen 22 managers come and go in my time. Oh. I'm gonna be here long after you're gone. Mm -hmm. You just keep that in mind. Oh. You're gonna get along just fine. You got that? Yes. You and me have been here longer than anybody, haven't we, Jack? I guess you're right, Frank. <laughs> oh, listen, well, we gotta keep moving. Ex-CIA. If he's ever captured, he'll deny it. CIA? Really? Deep cover. Don't believe a word he says, kid. Oh, <laughs> I won't. <laughs> I don't mind, Frank. He's a little cranky. Ever since his dog died. Oh, that's hard. When, when did that happen? 1958. I'll give him about half a day. I love the view from here. I don't get a chance to see much from where I'm at now. 21 apartments, count them. Not as easy as you think. To spend years getting to know these tenants as people. Hell, just going through their trash is a full-time job. What? This is an interesting layout. Yeah! <laughs> Shouldn't we break this up? Are you kidding? That was way too long. It was 15 seconds. I know. I gotta work on my balance. Oh, hey! Oh. I'm sorry, Chet. Sorry. I didn't see you there. Ah, oh, it's okay. That was a uh, impressive display of martial arts you girls put on there. Yeah, I'm just showing Kiki some new moves for work. Oh, yeah. Hey, hey, Kiki's a body double. Oh. Yeah. Oh, really? Well, have I um, seen any of your uh, work before? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, let's see. I've been, um, Julie Roberts' legs, Michelle Pfeiffer's buns, <laughs> and uh, Kim Basinger's everything. Oh. <laughs> if you saw her naked, you'd recognize her. Yeah. <laughs> that must be very, very interesting work. It's a job. Yeah. Hey, maybe you can help us out. Yes! Come on, hey, come on. Hey, come on. Choke me. Oh, yeah. Excuse me? Choke me! Come on now, we need an assailant so I can no, check our technique. I really, no, I really can't. Yeah, yeah, this is okay. Oh. Oh. Okay, okay. How do, how do you want me to do this? Hands on throat. Suckle style. Like this? No, no, no. Really try to choke me harder. Like, like, like this. No, okay. I, I just don't want to hurt her. Ah. 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 Yeah, that was perfect. Just a little bit more velocity, and you could have shoved his nose right up into his brain. Yeah, let me show you. Ladies, 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 maybe a little bit later. <laughs> Stan, he is a very busy man. Official business and all, you know. Come on, Stan. There you go. Hold it. <laughs> Sorry about the nose. Oh, no, that's OK. So, some of the feeling is starting to come back now. Good. It's nice meeting you. I think she did that on purpose. Consider yourself lucky. Excuse me? Consider yourself lucky. Last guy entangled with her wound up in her neck brace. Oh. Huh. Thanks for the tip. Uh, by the way, I'm, I'm Stan. I'm the new manager here. Fuck do I care? I don't live in this stuff. Oh, my, my mistake. Nice meeting you. Psychology, huh? Well, you've come to the right place. Yes, the uh, university has one of the top psych departments in the country. No, I meant to wonder if you apartments. See, you want to learn about people, you go where people are. Oh, God. Um, excuse me. Can I, uh, can I help you? Only if you're a locksmith. Better than that, he's the manager. Really? Oh, well, this key doesn't work. 
Do you mind if I give it a try? See, um, you just have to be real easy with it until you break it in. Thanks. Anytime. Nice job, kid. I knew you had management potential the second I saw you. You think so, huh? Absolutely. And I think the girl likes you. I was beginning to believe that fate had lured me to the Wonderview Apartments. What I didn't know was just what fate had in store for me. Dr. Caligari? Dr. Caligari? You must be the new manager. Yes, I am. How did you know? Just a feeling. I'm Sissy Chenille. Apartment 13. Stan Warden. You should be careful around water. Is that just a feeling? Oh, very strong. Oh, okay. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll keep that in mind. Thanks. Hey, man, you look lost. Can I help you? Yeah. Hi, um, I'm looking for the owner. He was just here. Oh, Dr. Caligari, plastic surgeon to the stars and a uh, Weasley landlord. <laughs> That's him right there by the manager's apartment. This is No, no, that's not him. No, no, that's him. I'd recognize that shiny ass bald head anywhere. <laughs> okay, I'm confused. You look confused. See ya. Good luck, man. Thanks. Excuse me. Excuse me. Are you Dr. Caligari? Don't you have cable? Huh? Cable. TV. Don't you recognize me? Dr. Caligari, plastic surgeon of the stars. Oh. I did share, professionally speaking. Oh. You must have seen my ad. No, no. I See, I, I just moved out here. D did you see a, a, a short guy, a, a rumpled suit, wearing a hat? I don't know what you're talking about, and I don't care. Oh, you were the kid I talked to on the phone? Yes, 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 but I, I thought that... What? Th th um, nothing, nothing. Uh, so is, is the job still available? Looks like. The last malcontent I hired, he took a powder for parts unknown. Wherever he is, he's fired! When can you start? A tiny voice inside of me was screaming, Run! Run away! Well, actually, uh... Then again, the job did have possibilities. I could start any time. Good, because you're the only one who showed up. How do you like your new apartment? Nice. What a bunch of crap, huh? You can never tell which ones are some kind of nut. Obsessive compulsive. Whatever. Well, it's all yours now, Kate. Consider it a perk. Here are the master keys. Don't call me unless the building is on fire. Good luck, kid. What, d don't you want to show me around? Uh, explore on your own time. I, I, I try to make it a policy never to rub elbows with the clientele. That's what you're here for. I'll be back in a month to pick up the rent. 
Oh. Clean the pool, would you? Yep. I'm on top of it. Oh, oh uh, no, you. Uh, Dr. Uh, Caligari? Watch yourself, kid. Watch yourself. Who is that man? Him? He's just a homeless, crazy person. He's been hanging around here for years. What do you want to know about him for? Oh, no reason. I like you, kid. Don't fuck with me. And we'll be big pals. Sigmund, I got the job, got the apartment. All I need now is a girlfriend and a subject for my thesis. I will have what is commonly referred to as a life. What do you think? Yeah, I know. Baby, my buzz wearing up. How in the hell did we wind up on Earth? Hmm, tenant's important. Seven. Don't know how much more I can take. Nine is watching. Day 215. Must change clothes, but his will is too strong. Day 299. Must act now. If I hesitate, nine will control me completely. I hope this guy isn't coming back.
talking to me? Huh? You talking to me? Well, I'm the only one that's here. Okay. Like it's some kind of knee-jerk reaction. When I decide to knee a jerk, you will be the first to know. Man, oh man, did you feel that? Feel what? The earthquake. You know, maybe we did feel a little shaking. Uh, yeah, definitely. You gotta watch out for those aftershocks. That 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 was an earthquake we, we just had, right? Oh, I I I, I found this. It, it was in the other guy's stuff. Morning. I doubt the good citizens of Moscow would agree with you on that. Hey, watch it! S excuse me. Well, I wondered where that chair got off to. Bet if you fish around in there a bit more, you'll probably find my favorite Chase Lounge. Well, there's something else down there. Give me a hand with this. Yes, I do. It's only a chase lounge. Okay. All right, on three. All right. Right? One, two, three. Ah. Oh, my God. That's not my chase lounge. No. Grab it. Get him. Flip him over. Ow. Ouch. Just an educated guess, but I'd say he's been in there for a while. Look, you cut yourself. Do you, you know who he is? Do you recognize him? Now he's so puffed up, I doubt his mama could even recognize him. Property of Glumley. Glumley, wait a minute. Wait. Everything in, in my apartment is labeled property of, of this of, of, of Glumley. This is the missing manager. You know that old manager always did wear those coveralls just like that, too. Oh. I I excuse me. Oh. <laughs> I guess that explains why he quit cleaning the pool. <laughs> Warning, no lifeguard on duty. Hurry up, Peaches. Beautiful day in the neighborhood. Mm, tragedy. Yeah, what a surprise. Well, better him than us. What's the difference between grande and venti anyway? Why can't someone just make a decent cup of coffee? Who cares, man? It's just a marketing gimmick. Yeah. 
Double decaf latte with non-fat milk. What is it with you forensics guys? Just uh, if you knew what I knew, you'd drink decaf too. Any more bodies in there? Not so far. But that is the deepest pool I've ever seen. We'll have to drain it to be sure. So who found the body? I did. I never told you how pretty you were. And you are? Stan Warden. Gorgeous. When did you find said body? Oh, well, it was about noon. I came out here to clean the pool, and uh, there he was. On the chaise lounge? No, 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 he was in the pool. He, he helped me. Helped you what? I helped pour your deceased out of the water. Yeah, he's, he, he's telling the truth, officers. That's how it happened. And you are? Just a uh, couple of concerned tenants that would like to remain anonymous. If that's okay. Whatever. You were saying? Uh, the dead man was the manager here. He's been missing for two weeks. His name is Gary W. Glumley. Now that's G L U M L E Y. Why? Why? Yes. Those his boots you wear? Oh, we are, yeah, I guess uh, the, 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 these would be his boots, but I can explain. Where do you live, Mr. Warden? I'm in apartment one. Apartment one, that would be the manager's apartment. I am the manager. I thought he was the manager. Well, he was the manager, but I am the manager now. I just started yesterday. See, the apartment came with the job, and so do the boots. See, that's what I was going to try and explain to you. Okay. Just for our notes, we want to be clear. He drowns. You get his job, his apartment, and all his personal possessions. Yes. I mean, no. No, well, okay, te you know, technically, yes, that is true. It's just that the way, the way you say that just sounds so, you know, suspicious. Folks, if I could have your attention for a minute, we just need to know if any of you have seen anything unusual, anything at all. How about you, Mr. Warden? You're the manager. I'm sure you've seen something. Well, gee, detectives, nothing unusual ever seems to happen around here. Oh, Detectives Culver and Duarte, I should have known. You, you, you know each other? Unfortunately, yes. I'm a police psychic. The LAPD and I go way back. The incredible Miss Chenille just can't stay away from a good homicide. You won't get much tabloid ink on this one. The victims are nobody. I'm not here on a case. I live here. Is it who I think it is? Say, you aren't the Miss Chenille who solved the Hollywood hacker murders. Oh, that was a long time ago. Uh, no, I, I, I'm your biggest fan. That was an uh, amazing case. Thank you. I'm glad to see the men in forensics still appreciate talent. Mm. Poor man. Say, Miss Chenille, why don't you help us out here? Just one suspect. It's been a slow week. Sorry, boys. I'm off the clock. Mm-hmm. Well, I guess we'll just have to do it the old-fashioned way. Yeah. Who do you think you are? Ah! Oh, what? Oh. Come on now, Kiki, you acting like you never saw a dead body before. <clears throat> Excuse me, ma'am. Miss? Detective Duarte, homicide. This is Detective Culver. Oh, me, homicide. <laughs> May we be of any assistance? You know, these are really nice apartments. Is this rent control? What the hell is going on here? There you are, you lazy bastard. Before I fire you officially, where the hell have you been? At the bottom of the pool. I am not talking to you. 
Bottom of the pool. I'm afraid uh, he's uh, Dr. Caligari. He's he's dead. Oh. What's he doing smoking a cigarette there? Yeah. Studying human behavior in the abstract was looking better and better. You can conduct a controlled experiment to replicate any situation you might find in a human habitat. A maze has all the twists and turns of real life. And the best part is, it's happening to a rat instead of me. I'm telling you, Tasha, it was an optical illusion. First you said it was peripheral vision. Now you're saying it was an optical illusion. What do you just admit it? Admit what, baby? Look, just because some woman's upper body happens to pass through my peripheral vision doesn't mean I'm checking her out. You weren't using your peripheral vision. You were using your x-ray vision. It's not you do that man talk. thing you all do, that sneaky little look at the girl's bosom, the one you men think we don't see. See, that's the optical illusion I'm talking about. I only have eyes for you. Oh, save it for the girls you've been staring at. Hi, Miles. Hey, Tasha. <laughs> I got any mail? What was that for? Tasha! You the manager? Yeah, you bet. I got a package for apartment 17. And it's not going to fit in a box. OK, I'll take it. You will? Yeah, no problem. No problem. <laughs> That's a good one. Um, hi, uh, excuse me, I'm sorry to bother you, but I'm the new manager, and I've got a package to deliver to apartment 17. I, I, I know this sounds weird, but uh, I, I can't find that apartment, and I was wondering if this might be 17. I, I'm sorry, I can't hear you. I, I, I still can't hear you. What? This is apartment nine. I've got nothing to do with that. Go away. Can I help you? What? Can I help you? What's with this guy? Oh, that's the guy in apartment nine. He doesn't like people much. It's probably why he stays in that apartment. He's lived next to me for 10 years, and I couldn't pick him out of a lineup. Why don't you come in? Uh, no, I, that's okay. I, I'm just looking for apartment 17. You wouldn't happen to know where it went to, would you? 14. 15. 16. 18. See, I told you. That's funny. I never noticed. 
Picking up anything psychic? No. Not a twitch. I'm sure it will turn up. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm sure it will. I was right about the water, though. Wasn't I? Yes, yes, you were. How, how did you know that? A professional secret. <laughs> Don't be a stranger. Okay. Good luck. Matter, you seem nervous. Every time I see you, you get that nervous thing going. All right? No, I'm not nervous. I'm just sleep deprived. I, I'm from the Midwest. I just moved out here. It's a, a time zone thing. What the fuck ever? Look, don't be so worried. I like you. You gotta keep your mouth shut. It would have been easy to piss your pants mentioning the cops some strange noises you might have heard. You didn't do that like that. Makes me trust you. You ask around, anybody tell you I have a real problem with trust? Well, you know, you're not alone. A lot of people have problems with that issue. What the fuck ever, look. The point is I trust you. Because of that, I want to ask you a favor. And say no. Of course, that would shatter my trust in you. I'll do what I can. Of course you will. It's beautiful, isn't she? Sure, she's attractive. Attractive? One is unfucking believably beautiful. Do anything for that woman, anything. Include kill anybody that might attempt to come between my Alice and I. That's where you come in. Me? You. Now I want you to keep an eye on my Alice. She spends too much time alone. I need somebody I can trust to look out for my interests. Well, listen, I always try to keep my eye out for all of my neighbors. Fuck the neighbors. Keep an eye on her. This whoever he is, he comes sniffing around, you tell me. Uh, listen, you know, you know, she seems like such a nice girl. I mean, maybe you're just overreacting. Let me tell you about overreacting. Right. A few months ago, when I first started going out, you know how it is, so I got to know each other and everything. Anyway, I'm going through her mail, and, uh, damn. There's this postcard from Hawaii. It's signed Love Brad. Yeah. Love Brad. You know what I'm saying? This caught me in a very vulnerable moment because I just fucking snapped. You know? Made a few calls. Found out this Brad guy was back from Hawaii. So I decided to pay him a visit. See how his trip was. Never been around to it. He's too busy bleeding. Anyways, turns out the whole thing was a big misunderstanding. Little did I know Brad wasn't interested in girls. Gay. I was shocked. I felt really bad. I almost paid his doctor bills. Anyways, don't tell me about overreacting, OK? I'm the king of overreacting. Just keep an eye on her. Keep an eye on you. That night, my subconscious wouldn't leave me alone. The more I tried to think about a subject for my thesis, 
the more I was distracted by thoughts of my new job. Now what? Jack and Jill, ballroom dance champions. <laughs> great. Just great. <sighs> oh. Like to watch, do you, Mr. Warden? <sighs> okay. Now, I don't want to make you guys mad, but don't you need a warrant to search my apartment? Well, we would if we were searching your apartment, but our records show that this apartment is still leased to the victim. And we don't need a warrant to search a victim's domicile. What is it that you're looking for? A uh, little of this, a little of that. Well, well, well. I hope you have a permit for this gun. Never saw that before in my life. Well, what's it doing in your apartment? Well, I thought this was his apartment. Wouldn't that make it his gun? Besides, didn't this guy drown? Think you're smart, huh, Perry Mason? Man, I hope we don't find your prints on this gun. Oh, okay, 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 wait a minute, wait. Wait, maybe I did see that gun before. Oh, uh, why'd you lie? I don't know. I, 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 I shouldn't have. I, I, it won't happen again. I'm sorry. It's just, you know, you guys have got me really, really spooked, okay? I, I opened up the drawer last night looking for a tenant's list. I found the gun and a journal. Now, whoever this guy was, he was profoundly mentally ill. You got something against the mentally ill? No. No, I don't. I, I, I moved out here to study psychology. I love the mentally ill. I, no, I don't, I don't, I don't love, love them. I, I, I just, I want to, I want to work with them. Help people. Hey, where's this journal? That ought to clear things up. I can't find it. I, I don't know. Look, it's, it's buried there somewhere underneath all of that junk from the earthquake. Earthquake? Yes. You gonna get that? Yes. Hello? Hi, Mom. Yeah, actually, yes, you did catch me in the middle of something. No, Mom, it's, it's not a girl, no. Well, well, it's just some official apartment business stuff. Look, Mom, Mom, I, I really have to get back to this uh, apartment business, okay? What? Wait, wait, no, 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 wait, wait, Mom, I, I... Hi, Dad. Yeah. Oh, the job is just, it's just going great, yeah. What's that? Oh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm fine, Dad. You just hold on to it, okay? Save it for, um, for an emergency. Look, uh, well, Dad, I gotta go, okay? Say goodbye to Mom. Don't throw any of this stuff away. You're kidding me, right? This, this is junk. When is junk not junk, Detective Duarte? When it's evidence, Detective Culver. Of course, you could come down to the station house with us right now. Clear this up tonight. Yeah, get it off your chest. Get what off my chest? I wasn't even in the same state when this guy drowned. We want to believe you. We really do. That's why we check all this stuff out. <sighs> You'll be in touch, Mr. Warden. Catch you later. I can't help but wonder at what point exactly did I lose control of my life? 
How did Stan Warden, original nice guy, become a murder suspect? Is my subconscious out to get me? Or is it this place? What are you looking at? That's attractive. Psst. Psst. Mr. Manager. Miss Apartment 4, how, uh, how can I help you? Um, is there any update about, uh, you know? Oh. Oh, that? No, no. I guess they'll let us know if they find anything out. Want a beer? Beer? Oh. Sure. Boyfriend. Morgan? He's out. Oh. He won't be back until after the bar is closed. Great. Thanks. Do you have any suspects? Hmm. No, I, I don't think so. You know, it, it, it may just still be an accident. Uh-huh. Um, how are you doing? Are you, uh, are you doing okay? I mean, something like this can be very, uh, very upsetting. Yeah. Yeah, I'm doing okay. I guess. I mean, it's pretty creepy, though, don't you think? Oh, absolutely. I mean, did, did you know him? No. I don't think anybody did. He was like the fifth manager we've had in two years. The owner really knows how to pick a loser. <laughs> You seem okay, though. <laughs> Thanks. Um, now, by the way, I should I should probably thank you for uh, sticking up for me with the cops. Yeah, well, you don't seem like the killer type. Then again, who knows? I'm a bad judge of people, particularly men. Well, you know, I bet if you trust your instincts, you know a lot more about men than you think you do. Men are very easy. It's women. <laughs> women are, uh, women are way more complicated. Well, all I know is nothing ever turns out the way I thought it was going to. <laughs> Tell me about it. So. What about you? What's your story? Um, what do you want to know? Oh, I don't know. The usual. Got a girlfriend? Me. Oh, um. No. No, not, not really. I find that really hard to believe. You do? Yeah. It's Morgan. You've got to hide. Baby, mm. get your motor running. Part of me must have known you were coming home early. Which part? <laughs> oh, let me get you a beer. What's the other beer for? Me. I had one and then I finished it, so I got another one. It's funny, this one's still full. Ah. Uh. Well, uh, yeah, that ought about do it. What the fuck are you doing here? I'm just fixing your toilet. Yeah, it overflowed, so I called the manager. Really? 
What's wrong with it? I, you're, I know, you're gonna have to ask her. <sighs> Flush the tampon. Yeah! I don't want to hear anymore! You! Get out of here! Please, spare me the details. You know I get about feminine hygiene. <sighs> Behavioral paradigms in mice and men. Of mice and men. Behavioral paradigms of mice and men. Penis envy and the road grip. Feel free to jump in anytime, Sig. Multiple personality disorders of rodents. No. Passed out. I won't hear from him until tomorrow afternoon. Well, that's that's a, that's nice. Listen, I didn't want to bother you, but the reason I'm calling is because, well, I wanted to say I'm sorry about what happened. I shouldn't have made you hide. You know, I, I don't know what got into me. Uh, well, I, I I don't know what got into me either. You know, it's not like we were doing something wrong. No, no. I mean, we don't want to give Morgan the, the wrong idea, you know, I mean, about you and me. Oh, no, no. Actually, I, I don't want to give Morgan any ideas. No. <laughs> hmm. You're funny. So, we'll have that beer another time? Yeah, sure. Good night, Mr. Manager. Good night, Miss Apartment 4. Unnecessary expense? Well, I, I would think that you would be happy that I took it upon myself to steam clean the bottom of your pool. You, you had a dead guy in here for two weeks. That's why the pool's chlorinated. Dr. Caligari, we're talking about a human being 
who died in here. Yeah, and do me a favor. When your time comes, please die on somebody else's property. Oh, okay. You know what? I came out here to go to school, to, to, to maybe learn how to help people. I did not come out here to aid and abet a slumlord. Oh, what I want to do just quit. Maybe I should. You can't quit. What's stopping me? I talked to a couple of fellas named Duarte and Culver this morning. Seems they got their eye on you. You quit now, it's gonna look mighty suspicious. Yeah, well, we'll see about that. <laughs> Much as in the human world, Rats respond to high population densities by exploding in attacks of mass hysteria. The group suddenly acting irrationally with a single mind, they may single out an individual. In okay, space. personal inventory time. The more I think about my life, the more I begin to envy the humble lab rat. No responsibilities, no work, no degree required. Just the naked pursuit of food and sex. Go! 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 Look out! Look out! Look out! Look out! What? Come here! Come here! What? Come here! What? Come here! Chet, Just what? I need to tell you something. I need to warn you. Chet, listen to me. I do not have time for this now. Okay? You're gonna be glad I told you. <sighs> okay, okay, Chad, okay, what is it? Watch your step. There's a snake in the grass. A snake? Like, what do you mean? That someone is, is what, out to hurt you? No, not someone, something, a snake. Okay, Chad, did, did, did the, the little voice inside of your implants tell you that? No, I saw him. Okay, and why are you telling me this? Well, you're the manager. I thought you'd want to know. Okay, Chet. Chet, listen to me. <clears throat> Chet, sometimes when people are under a lot of stress, they, they imagine things. Yeah. Okay? I mean, even me. You know, sometimes I could swear this little bust of Freud that I have it speaks to me. Really? Maybe you ought to talk to a psychiatrist. No, 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 I, I'm okay. You see, I, I know that it doesn't really speak to me. Yeah. Yeah. My, my, my point is that maybe um, living on the street is, is starting to get to be a little too much for you. Snakes are a very common delusion that might indicate an underlying mental illness. Now, that, that's nothing to be ashamed of. With the modern psychotropic drugs and, and therapy, they can make the snake go away. I don't know. It's an awful big snake. You know, you're gonna need a net and some dogs. Okay, Chet, listen, I, I have to go now, all right? But. If you change your mind, yeah. you, you just come and find me and we'll get you some help. Yeah. Okay, I think that uh, some rest and a little treatment is gonna go a long way to, to getting you off the street. What, and get a job? Sure, why not? Huh. Heck, I'm quitting. You could have my job. Yeah, I had your job. <clears throat> not for me. You were a manager here. Yeah, a long time ago. Ah, too many hassles. Hey, but I like the area and I like the people, so I decided to stick around, freelance. Hey, did you say you were quitting? Yes. Oh, sorry to hear that. Hey, listen, if you need some place to stay, let me know. Us management types, we gotta stick together. Oh, uh, okay. I gotta get going, Chet. Yeah. Hey, 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 watch your step. Ah! Hello, 
Stanley. Sorry. Didn't mean to scare you. I'll get over it. What are you doing here? I'm here in a professional capacity. Excuse me? As a police psychic. Which I don't need to be to read your mind. I'd see if I could find any vibrations from the victim. The closer I am to his things, the stronger the images I receive. I would have asked, but you weren't here. The door was open. Is that the bedroom? I, I haven't finished cleaning in there. Don't worry, Stanley. Was this his bed? You picking anything up? Oh. Water? Oh, oh, of course. Uh, he did drown, didn't he? No. Water for me. When death is so near, it saps me. Feel faint. <sighs> oh, okay. W one second. Oh. 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 Whoa. Whoa, you're. You're, um. You're naked. You noticed. My water? Oh, right. Um, sorry. My body is like an antenna. Sometimes I have to liberate my instrument in order to pick up the vibrations left on an object. Like this bed, for instance. You can learn a lot from somebody's bed. Maybe I should just wait outside. Wait, wait, wait. Um, I feel it coursing through me. What, like, like electricity? Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh. Like uh, an orgasm. Oh, here. Lie down next to me. Oh, oh, oh. Feel free, sir. Whoa. Uh. Uh. Mm -hmm. uh. 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 No, Miss Chanel. Oh, no. Okay. Okay, okay Miss Chanel. Time out. I'm oh, sorry. Does this make you feel uncomfortable? No, oh, just, I thought. I thought that you were coming here in a professional, a professional capacity. <laughs> I am. <laughs> Nobody will know if we make some business of pleasure. No, I, I don't know. Good evening, Mr. Warden. What a uh, surprise. I hope we've come at a bad time. Well, uh, actually, uh, come right in. Hello, detectives. Ma'am? For the record, I am here on official police business. That's funny, so are we. Except I'm leaving my clothes on. <laughs> Getting any vibrations? <laughs> if I do. You'll be the last to know. Will you excuse me? Don't worry. All will be revealed. Oh, good evening, Miss Chanel. Hey, listen, I talked to my girlfriend, like you said, and and you were absolutely right. How do you, how do, you do that? Well, someday, when you have a little time, you just drop by and I'll show you. 
<laughs> who, who is this? Forensics. Here's the warrant. Better read it, make sure it's all correct. All right. Kill those lights. Oh, whoa, 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 wait, what is he doing? Looking for stains. Whoa, whoa, watch your eyes there. Oh. I almost blinded a guy one time. Any reason we might find your blood in here anywhere? <sighs> no. Semen? Semen? No. Yeah, I got it. Why don't we just step outside? Let these boys do their job. No. Check in the sheets! Is there some particular reason we're down here? You haven't killed anybody before. Don't answer that. It's a trick question. <laughs> you, you know, you had me really worried. I mean, for a minute, I, I really thought that I, that I was a suspect. <laughs> you are. See, uh, we have this little problem we thought you might be able to help us with. The victim drowned in a chlorinated pool but he had tap water in his lungs. What do you say, Columbo? You got any theories on how that could happen? I don't have the slightest idea. Have you, have you looked into the dead guy's life? If his apartment is any indication, he was a very sick and, and twisted individual. Blaming the victim. We take points off for that. Come on, guys, I didn't kill anybody. I mean, this, this is absurd. What about the guy in apartment nine? Glumley was obsessed with him. He thought he was trying to hurt him. Okay, now what if he wasn't paranoid? What if the journal was right? What if the guy in apartment nine killed him? Unfortunately, you're the only one who's seen this journal. Well, it's there, I swear. Your, your forensic team will find it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and meanwhile, why don't you go and check out the guy in apartment nine? Okay, don't take my word for it. Why don't you just check it out? Coming, Dick Tracy. It's right here. your ears, guys. Who is it? Who is it? LAPD homicide detectives. We need to speak with you. Is there some sort of problem, officers? Sir, as you probably heard, the previous manager was found dead at the bottom of the pool. As part of our routine investigation, we're speaking with all the tenants to see if they might have noticed anything. Goodness, no. I haven't noticed anything untoward. But then I don't get out much. Did you know the deceased, sir? Barely. I've lived here 18 years. We've had so many managers come and go. Uh, of course. Well, sir... Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Did he ever say anything to you that might indicate that he thought you were trying to harm him? Did he ever accuse you of trying to control his thoughts? Hey, we'll ask the questions. It's all right, officer. I had no idea the man thought one way or the other about me. We never even spoke. I see. Wait, wait, well, now, you don't know anything about the journal he kept. All right, Mr. Warden. That'll be enough. Sorry to bother you, sir. We'll just let you get back to your program. Thank you. Right, thanks. Night, officers. Good night, sir. Well, that's that. Chip, chip, chipping away. What? That, that, that's my stuff. No, that's evidence now. You just took all of my stuff, but you, you didn't touch anything of Glumley's. The deceased? What for? I mean, he's, <laughs> he's not a suspect. Okay, now that, that's my toothbrush. No, that's a great source of DNA. Standard procedure. DNA. Ow! Ah, don't sweat it. Just a hair sample to help rule you out. You better get his prints, too. No need. Got a full set off the gun. Your receipt. Don't make any long-term plans. Hey, now you can get rid of all this junk. <laughs>
me at the apartment floor. Come on, Mr. Major, let me in. He's gonna kill me. It's me at the apartment floor. He's gonna kill me. What? Who? 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 who who's gonna kill him? Morgan, he's gone crazy. C crazy? How? Did he threaten you? He got so mad about something on TV that he stabbed himself in the leg with a fork. A fork? Yeah, he was he was eating a TV dinner and something on Jerry Springer just set him off. Well, what what made him so mad? Uh, well, um, the show was about women that cheat on their men. Oh. Are, are you okay? Huh? Did he hit you? Oh, it was an accident. He, he's not like that. He's really a sweet person. It's just the drugs. No one should ever hit you. I'm sorry, it's just a little domestic squabble. Uh, there's no need to alert the authorities. Sorry about the noise. Won't happen again. Back to bed. Sweet dreams. The peaches, I know you can hear me. But, baby, I'm sorry. I get so crazy because I uh, love you so much. Don't talk this out. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't. You say something to him, huh? Me? Yeah. I, I, I don't know. I mean, he, he's really pissed off. I might just make him matter. Hey, tell him that I'm not here. No, he's not going to believe that. Yeah, he'll believe you. He likes you. He likes me? He just ripped my screen door off. He has a hard time showing affection. Please, come on. Morgan? Hi, it's me, Stan. The manager, remember? How's it going? Not so good. So, I, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but um, she's not here. If I see her, though, I will tell her that you're looking for her. Really? Away. He's leaving. You're kidding. Why are you treating me like this? This time you've gone too far. You love it when I go too far. Tell me I'm wrong. So just stay away from me. What? Come on, man. You heard her. Yeah. Just leave her alone. Excuse me. Didn't we have an agreement? An understanding between honorable men that you were going to look out for my interest? Instead, you lied. Now, why would you do something like that? Unless, of course, you're fucking my woman! 
No, 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 you've got it all wrong, okay? She just came over here because she was, she, she was scared, all right? Nothing is going on between us, nothing, okay? Okay, I, I just, I want, I want you to think about what you're doing, okay? Nobody has to get hurt. Fuck, you sound just like my mother. And was your mom right? I always hated my mother. Oh! Oh! Leave him alone, you mean son of a bitch! Uh. Uh. Oh. Uh. I'll deal with you in a second. This is just starting to get fun. Don't! Uh. Oh. Oh. Hey, don't you worry. You're not gonna feel a thing. This oh. hurts. Oh. This you're not gonna feel. What would Freud say? We better get out of here before he wakes up. Okay? I can't believe that. You were incredible. Oh, man. For sure, he was gonna kill me. Yeah. Well, so did we. How'd you do it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I used a little psychology on him. Ooh. Somebody here call 911? It's all right, officers. Everything's under control. I think you'll find what you're looking for in apartment one. It's right through there. There he is. What's going on here? Just the man I want to see. Detectives, I think we may have your killer. Gee, thanks. But we already have a suspect. Do you mind turning around? What? What, what are you doing? Stand back, ma'am. You folks man? need to disperse. He's no killer. Can't you see? You've got the wrong man. Not this time, Beam. I don't believe this. Believe it, Mr. Warden. We found your blood under the victim's fingernails. Well, oh, that's a nasty scratch you got there, Mr. Warden. I, I got this when I was pulling the body out of the pool. Oh, then you have nothing to worry about. Ow. Stanley Warden, you're under arrest for the murder of Gary W. Glumley. You have the right to remain silent. If you speak anything you say, it can be held against you in a court of law. Don't say a word, kid. Blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera. You understand these rights? Good. Detective, you guys need to come take a look at this. Let's go. LAPD strikes again. Not a word. Oh. We have another victim. He's still alive. Someone's oh. crushed every bone in his body. like we'll be adding a bonus count of attempted murder. Wait. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, I hit him one time. One time. There must be a dozen witnesses. We have information that you quit your job and might try to flee. I wasn't f fleeing. I go to college. I have never fled. Save it for the jury. What about that guy, Morgan? The guy you found in my apartment? He tried to kill me. He probably killed Glumley. Did you check him out? Sure. But unlike you, he had a rock-solid alibi. He was in county jail on assault charges. Listen, detectives, I am so tired right now. 
I would confess to being the second gunman on the grassy knoll if I thought it was going to buy me some sleep. Were you? No. One of you said that I could call my parents when we got to the station. Guys, that was over five hours ago. Sure, go ahead, call your parents. But if I was you, I'd use that time to call a lawyer. for me, the one you and dad worked so hard for, the one where I graduate from college, get a job, get married, and have grandkids for you to play with? Well, there's been a little mistake, and I may have to postpone it for, say, 20 years to life! We see your point. What's all this, then? We want to talk to two of your detectives, Azusa and Norwalk. You mean Culver and Duarte? Just tell them that Miss Chenille is here with something they'll want to say. Well, why didn't you say so in the first place? A suicide note. We found it in the manager's apartment. Miss Chenille led us to it. You searched his apartment without a warrant. I'm a psychic. I don't need a warrant. Just a feeling. Hate my job, hate my life, hate the world. Hope I don't hate being dead. Goodbye, stupid little world. Signed, Gary W. Glumley. P.S. By the time you find this, I will have drowned myself in the pool. He always did hate that pool. Can't you see he's innocent? What about the tap water in the victim's lungs? Well, maybe he tried to drown his sorrows in the bathtub first. Did you ever think of that? We still got Warden on the attempted. I just came from the hospital. Morgan regained consciousness, and he wants to drop the charges. He is innocent. I promise you. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, you're free to go. I am? Yeah. Really? Really. You know, in some cultures, if you save somebody's life, that life belongs to you. I guess we're, we're just going to have to settle for me owing you one. I hate when this happens. Someday, huh, Sigmund? Someday. Oh, oh. There it is. Hey! You know, I've been looking all over for that. What are you doing here? You know, this is my private property. In fact, all of this is mine. Now, this journal belonged to Glumley. <laughs> Who are you? Me? I'm your worst fucking nightmare. identify the killer because he was the victim. <laughs> what fools they are. You know, if they had even a single shred of respect for authority, they would have recognized me. But 
I knew I could count on the fact that I was nothing to them. Just an anonymous nobody. So inconsequential, they don't even remember my face. But you will, because it's the last thing you're ever gonna see. Now, now, 15, 20 minutes, it'll all be over. Do you? I want to get carried away and go pop? Then I'd have to shoot you. What fun is it? I want to do a throw. Hey, girl! Come over here! Mr. Fields got another one of her feelings! The kid's in trouble! Shana, come on, hurry up! Is he okay? Dad? Dad? What's going on? We're coming in! Hey, kid! Are you in here? Uh, he just stepped out, but he said he'd be back later. Excuse me. Hey, buddy, where do you think you're going? Dad, can you answer me? If you can't speak, try nothing. He's got to be here somewhere. I'm telling you, you're wasting your time. Uh, we'll make that decision. I was right, wasn't I? Well, Miss Chenille, come on in here and give us a little bit of whatever it is you got. Let's see what I can do. not here. Oh, yes, he is. I can feel him. <laughs> ow, move. Ow, ow. Easy, easy. Ah. Very close. How close? Oh, it's like he's touching me! Oh! What the? Look! Stan? Hey, how the hell did he get in there? <laughs> we need a knife. No problem. <laughs> Come on. No, don't! manager of the Wonderview Apartments, the real Gary W. Glumley. He also happens to be the real murderer. Is that so? Yes. Apparently, while managing the building, Mr. Glumley here became obsessed with the tenant in apartment 9. So obsessed, he began suffering from paranoid delusions, finally killing him and assuming his identity. It's all right here in his journal. That's a lie. It's all lies. Can't you see? They're all in this together. The whole thing's a put-up job. Oh, he confessed to everything. We all heard him. You and your theories. At least I had a theory. Gary W. Glumley, you're under arrest for the murder of, uh, of... What's the Vic's name? Uh, it's the guy in apartment uh, 9. For the murder of a uh, player to be named. You have the right to remain silent. Sorry about the mistake, kid. Catch it next time. You have the right to an attorney. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. Oh, yeah. We're all through here, Paul. You don't want any more samples, do you? Oh, no, no, no. Actually, I'm here as a private citizen. Heard you might have a vacancy. I love this place. Miss Chenille.
want to thank you all for coming. Looks like we've got quite a nice turnout here. Um, there's, there's plenty of food and, and beverages for later. But first, I, I must tell you that uh, our pool has been approved for use by the health department. It's been acid washed, and I steam cleaned it, and that's obviously uh, fresh water that's in there. But uh, that's not what's important. What is important is that we accept what happened and we move on. So, in that spirit, I have asked Miss Chenille to say a few words. I normally don't do this kind of thing, but since you asked, well, I thought I might add a few ingredients to remind us that water in almost all cultures is a symbol of life and renewal. So to this water, I add a little mint, a lemon rind, to banish any bad feelings that might be left behind. Is she making iced tea? Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> Don't listen. <laughs> and a little salt to remind all of us that mortality is a part of life. Great. Good job. Here, here. That was really nice. Okay, everybody, this, this pool is now officially open. So come on, everybody. Somebody has to be first. What about you? Me? Uh, I, I would, but I, I've had enough water for one day. And besides, this, this pool belongs to you. And I think one of you should be the first one in. Don't you? Uh-uh. We think that you need to get in there first. Oh, okay. I'm not afraid of it or anything. It's just... Um... It's just H2O, right? By the way, again, I just want to thank all of you who worked so hard to find the evidence that finally set me free. Don't mention it, kid. It's not hard to find evidence that you make up yourself. <laughs> yep, that's right. You mean you guys wrote the suicide note? <laughs> <laughs> well, you got the killer, right? You're walking around as a free man, aren't you? And you owe it all to us. Here's to us. <laughs> so I took the plunge. Am I in over my head? Absolutely. I did, however, solve one problem today. I know what I'm writing about for my thesis. It's a real-world case study about a common human habitat and its effect on group psychology. I'm calling this unpredictable phenomenon of human behavior the apartment complex. Nobody listens to me. Thank you.